We spoke to Mike Gatting earlier. Story kicking around today, of course, is um, England have refused to guarantee the Ashes series. They want to um, have a look at the COVID situation and see whether they can pick a squad that's befitting the series of this significance. From the uh, Cricketers Association point of view, have you got any doubts about this Ashes series going ahead? No, look, we've been very confident that it'll be played and we've been saying that for a period of time. Nothing overnight changes that. I think the English statements overnight are are pretty correct and pretty accurate and pretty reasonable given that, you know, it's a big tour and um, they want to make sure everything's in place. But all of our Australia and our own players have said that um, we've got a very good plan in place. And I think it's important also to understand that those plans will be in place for both teams uh, in exactly the same way, both the Australian players and families and the English players and families. So we're very confident in the planning from Craig Australia, and we're very confident the Ashes will go ahead as planned. That's great news. Have you spoken to your counterpart over there? Um, you, you are, of course, the head of the Cricketers Association here. Have you spoken to your English counterpart, and have they got any fears? Absolutely. We've been in regular dialogue over the last few months. Um, you know, and of course, when you're on that side of the world, they'd be asking a lot of questions, just like we would be if we were to go on tour there. So we've got enormous empathy with um, the players and the, the management teams uh, the, uh, the other side of the world with England and of course we've been in regular dialogue and we've tried to answer as many of those questions as we can to give them as much satisfaction and as much comfort as possible that the tour can proceed and they can play under the best conditions possible so look the, the long and the short of it is I think we were exactly at this point this time last year with India touring you know where we were unsure and, and I think that's the world we live in at the moment there, there are difficult times and the reality is that we all have to work much harder and be more agile to keep sport on the playing field and make sure our players are safe. And I think that's exactly what we're doing at the moment. Hey, Todd, in those discussions that you've had, what is their greatest concern? What's at the top of their oh, list? Oh, look, I think that the, the top concerns would be making sure that if they want their families with them, they can. And also to make sure when they come to Australia, they can live as much of a normal existence as, as is possible. And, of course... The, the number one priority is to be able to prepare and play to the peak of their ability in order for them to win the Ashes. So I think a balance of those three things are all very important for, for English cricketers. And again, I don't think that's unreasonable in any sense. Uh, I think that that's that's pretty reasonable request from, from a touring side here. And, and our job, you know, working with Cricket Australia is to make sure we give them as much of that comfort as we possibly can so they can tour. And we can all enjoy, you know, what is, you know, one of the great sporting events in our country, which is an Ashes series. Yeah, we're desperate for it to go ahead. We can't wait. Um, the Australian Cricketers Association CEO, Todd Greenberg, on the line. Todd, were you satisfied with the way the Sheffield Shield situation played out with Tasmania and Queensland in um, recent weeks where the Tasmanian team on short notice uh, decided not to play and get on a plane to come back to Tassie? Yeah, it wasn't ideal, was it? I mean, um, look, there's a few bumps in the road already in our domestic season and... You know, I think we're going to see a few more bumps, to be honest, because, as I said before, we're living in pretty uncertain times. But, you know, one thing I can assure you about talking to all of our players is they want to play cricket, particularly our domestic players who've been training for a huge amount of time and haven't played a lot of cricket. So there's an enormous amount of sacrifice that's required and the players are prepared for that because they want to play. Um, And, you know, talking to the CEOs and the leaders of all the state associations, they're desperate for their players to play as well. So... We're trying to be as nimble and agile as we possibly can, uh, getting players in out of certain locations, you know, dealing with some of the challenges of domestic border issues. But the long and the short is we want to play cricket and we want to be well prepared for the start of summer. Hey, Todd, just one final question from me. As it stands right now, do you think that we're going to see Ashes Test cricket across all the capital cities or the ones that uh, normally have the, the Test cricket? Yeah, I'm, I'm very confident that the Ashes will be played first. And second, I'm still confident that will be played in the uh, in the format and the order of which they've been scheduled. And, and our job is to continue to work closely with Cricket Australia and on behalf of the players, make those sacrifices that are needed to make sure that that can be played as per the schedule. But the short answer is yes, we're still very confident.